Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. 2018 is upon us. Happy uh, New Year's to everybody out there. If I hadn't uh, gotten to you with those wishes previously. Um, forgot to add a couple of things in reviewing the 2017 predictions, which this video is about the 2018 predictions, but uh, thought Mark Cavendish might uh, struggle in 2017. <laughs> it's an understatement. <laughs> and I thought that Kittle... And, and Fernando Gaviria would have great seasons. And Gaviria, four stage wins in the Giro. Kittle, five. Five in the Tour de France. Um, did not finish. Fell apart in the mountains under incredible pressure by Michael Matthews' giant squad, which was absolutely brilliant. Matthews did win the green jersey. I think that's going to go to Peter Sagan. <laughs> so that's my first prediction for 2018. <laughs> Sagan in green at the Tour de France. <laughs> um, but uh, I guess let's get right into it. Milano San Remo, I picked Fernando Gaviria um, in 2017. Didn't quite happen. Um, and I think Gavi will be solid in Milano San Remo. But this year, Alexander Kristoff is going to be back at his best and get monument number one of the season, Tour of Flanders. GVA, Greg Van Avermaet, going to be very tough to beat. Uh, he'll have a little extra motivation in overcoming last year's disappointment when he crashed with Sagan and Nason chasing uh, Philippe Gilbert. Perry Roubaix, Peter Sagan will not be denied this year in Perry Roubaix. And uh, Liege, Baston Liege, I think that I think Alejandro Valverde will be back at his absolute best and demolish the field in Liège, best on Liège. I, I don't know what I was thinking last year. Julian Alaphilippe, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> um, I mean, if you're a Quick Step fan and Alaphilippe fan, you hope that he wins, but I hope that he's racing and uh, is there in the finale, but Valverde, too tough, and it's a perfect course for the green bullet, Balaverde. Liège, or excuse me, tour of Lombardia, Dan Martin. He's won it before. I think Dan Martin's going to be the man. Racing for what's basically an Italian setup. UAE used to be Lamprey. And so Lombardia, uh, big uh, big event for those guys. So watch for Dan Martin to qualm. Giro d'Italia. Now, the Giro and the tour depend on whether or not Chris Froome is racing. And uh, the Salbutamol... Um, case from last year's Vuelta will continue to hang over <laughs> every race that Froome has decided to do this year. And I, I mean, I have a gut feeling that the UCI will not have adjudicated Froome's Salbutamol case before the start of the Giro, which would be a disaster for the sport of professional cycling, especially if later they find that he was in violation of the rules and take away whatever results he's had since last year's Volta, um, which is what happened to Alberto Contador in the 2011 Giro, I believe. Um, a little bit different scenario. Uh, Contador had um, taken his case for Clint Buterall to the Court of Arbitration um, for sport, and while that was being fought out in the courts, uh, Alberto continued to race, won the Giro, but then was later subsequently <laughs> disqualified. So I have a feeling that history is going to repeat itself, and uh, we'll find ourselves in a, uh, a very troubling uh, circumstance coming into the Grand Tours, and, and it could go on as long as the Tour de France. Christian Prudhomme has said, Unequivocally, you have got to figure this out before the Giro. Christian Prudhomme, the, the uh, director of the Tour de France. But anyways, I think Froome will be at the Giro, and I think Froome will win. <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll be backpedaling all summer. <laughs> um, Tour de France, I think the Giro and the Tour double in the modern era is too tough to do. I said that last year with Nairo. He got second in the Giro, but then fell apart at the Tour de France. And so I'm going to pick Vincenzo Nibali for the 2018 Tour de France, especially because of stage nine, 
with some wicked cobbles. And I do owe a video for the rout of 2018 in the Tour de France. I'll get to that as soon as I can. And the Vuelta. I think Quintana will be back at his best and win this year's Vuelta a España. World Championships. Woo! I'm going to say Anna van der Breggen for the women. Tough climb. And Michael Matthews for the men. There's 2018 for you. You don't even have to watch. <laughs> Just kidding. But let's hope that Chris Froome's case has already been decided and um, and we can just enjoy what we're watching uh, throughout the summer. It's going to be great regardless. I will be there and uh, hopefully doing videos throughout the entire season. And thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. The comments are getting a little bit <laughs> too far out there, not comfortable. Let's keep them clean, everybody. And thanks for watching.